Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to From the Desk. I have been gone far too long. Um, I did, I've been posting, as some of you know, I've been posting the Away From the Desk uh, panels from the Hoover Public Library's Sci-Fi Fantasy Fest convention that I was a part of. That was a lot of fun. I needed the time to take a break and, you know, look inward try and figure out where I want to go with this series because I only have so much advice um, and I want to continue this on as more and I've said this so many times in the past as more as of a writer's vlog um, not the walkie talkie stuff but specifically about the writing um, so today we're going to be talking about you know plotting and pantsing and uh, somewhere in between uh, so the the first topic of discussion on my uh, of discussion is how do you figure out which one is good for you um, the way I go about every single project is I just sit down and I start writing um, I don't actually plot until the book is over which sounds backward uh, I know it sounds backward but when I get done with a book that's when I, I, I'll put it away you know, I put things away for months on end. Uh, like the recent, the most recent book that I finished in January, I am just now starting. It is August. I am just now starting to edit that book. Um, I got behind on some stuff this summer. So usually I only let it sit for about six months, but the longer the better. So it's not like it hurt anything. Um, but I have gone through the book and just skim what it you know I, what I can remember basically what I'm doing is I'm writing out uh, what happens in the book so that I don't when I go back and I do the first draft I don't deviate from the actual plot that I created while I was pantsing I know like I said I know that sounds backward but that's how I do things as long usually the plot doesn't change too much um, uh, sometimes it doesn't change at all sometimes I completely overhaul everything to make one little plot point work um, I think I did that with Pennies for the Damned, which is unpublished right now. But when it comes back out, um, and when you guys read that one, let's see if you guys can see what what happened with that book. Um, there's one there's one section that I got to as I was writing, and I got to that section. I was like, "Hey, this is the whole book. This is the theme of that book." Um, and that's where my that's where the the passion and the love for pantsing comes into play I write by the seat of my pants meaning if there's a passion and a love of discovery I'm sitting uh, I'm writing the book and as I'm writing the book I am uncovering the story like a reader for the first time and that's part of the reason why I write is to tell myself stories um, stories that I can't find anywhere else um, so how do you know what's best for you well is there a certain joy um, that that you find when uh, you have stumbled across an entire story as you're writing or do you find that there's a bigger joy in sitting down and making sure that all of your stuff line all you have all your ducks in a row before you even start writing now another thing is are you a fast writer do you like rewriting do you like editing um, all those things if you like if you don't mind rewriting and you don't mind editing and those things are fun for you I highly suggest just sitting down and you know writing by the seat of your pants sorry y'all it is super hot here um, it is right now I don't know what time it is exactly it's probably eight nine o'clock at night um, yeah it's super late I hope I can still get it up today Monday um, but I'm, I'm trying to do it at night because it is so hot out here during the day. Um, apologize for it being late. But, uh, yeah, so if you see me wiping my face, I apologize. I really need to bring a towel out. Anywho, um, so what, what do you enjoy most about the writing process? If what you enjoy most is the writing process, the writing of the book itself, I highly suggest just sitting down and writing by the seat of your pants. Now, not everybody is going to be able to do that, of course. I understand that. Um, some people need some direction. And if you're that type of writer, you should know that you need that kind of direction. Uh, you know that you you were going to go into something and you have no idea where you're going to go and all you're going to do is sit there staring at a blank page, then yes, yeah, sure, plot. There is no right or wrong way to write. And that's 
uh, where a lot of people get stuck. People get stuck on rules on you can't do this, you can't do that. Pretty, You can pretty much do anything you want to with writing as long as your grammar and your punctuation and your spelling is proper. Um, you can tell the story any way you want to. Um, you can head hop, you can do all different kinds of things. There are just certain rules that go along with that. But you should never worry about that kind of thing with a rough draft, with your first time through. And even with plotting, you can still have that, that kind of fun, and that's where I was going to get at. If you're one of those people who needs to know where a story is going to go before you can get into it, you don't trust yourself pantsing, then what I suggest is just doing a very, very thin outline. Let's say... um basically you're going to say like Bob walks into a room and something happens that gets him to this point and then at this point you need to have him over here and then at this point Jessica comes into frame or you know whatever it is just a very very loose outline that doesn't talk anything about where the direction of the scene is going to go you just have end points like you know you need to get Bob from point A to point F and all that stuff B C D E all that stuff in the middle is where the pantsing comes into play. So you know you're going to open up with Bob at a bar uh, eating beer nuts, but you have to somehow get him into Jessica's bed somewhere down the line, that kind of thing. Um, or in, you know, burying Jessica out in the woods. Who knows? Whatever you want to do. Um, right now... So th that's that's my advice for deciding whether or not you want to be a pantser or a plotter. So far, uh, and that that's leading me hopefully naturally into the next next topic of discussion uh, along the same lines is what I'm doing now. Uh, so for the past three years, I have been hoarding material. <laughs> I wrote a bunch of books back to back to back to back to back and I'm, I'm still doing that. Now like I said I write I write a book I put it away for at least six months and then I revisit it and sometimes I put it away again but the cycle is always the same. I'm writing one, I'm editing one at the same time, well different times of day of course, but I'm writing one, I'm editing one and then I have one sitting off you know, out of sight, not even thinking about it while I work on two other books. So there's always three books moving. I am. I did the math the other day, and at this point in my career, I am six books ahead. So the book that you are going to be getting next, which is Everything is Horrible Now, is I'm six books ahead. I have six books between Everything is Horrible Now and the book that I started today, Monday, which I'm already 12,000 words into, um, which is... That's just crazy to me. I haven't written 12,000 words in a single day in forever. I got things flying around, sorry. Um, but for the past three years, I have been working off of nothing but contracts. I have contractual obligations with Thunderstorm books and a couple other con contracts I can't talk about from other pen names. But as I'm working, I'm having to go through, I'm having to do what I've been contracted for and I have to provide exactly what they asked for or exactly what I pitched to them so I have been doing a very loose plotting uh, lifestyle for the past three years um, and it's not really all that fun for me um, I'm getting the work done they're good books I'm having more fun editing them and making them fit together um, than I than I am having the writing of it but as of today the 12,000 words that I wrote were all fun um, I had no plot I had nothing in mind I just sat down and started writing um, also, on top of that, I'm going to be starting a collaboration with uh, my buddy John Bender. He wrote a novella called Chainsaw. Uh, that's all he's published so far, I think. Um, and we'll be starting a book. I'll be starting a book with him. I'm going to be writing every Friday, and then I will send it to him, and then he'll have six days in between to do what he wants with it. But uh, it's it's called The Sato Monster, and yes, it's just as goofy and crazy as you uh, as you would imagine. Um, and yes, Sodom, Sodomy, Sodom monster, so uh, there's going to be some butt stuff, uh, just to warn you. Anywho, um, so we're going to have a lot of fun with that one, but at the same time, I'm also writing this other book. I have no idea where it's going. Um, I know characters, I don't even know if it's horror. I mean, that's how, that's how loose I am here. Um, and in case you guys don't know, two of my other pen names are not horror or genre at all. Um, it's just general fiction or literary fiction. Um, I write that 
those books take me a long time to write and work on because I have to focus more on the language and the theme. Um, whereas the Edward Lorne stuff and this uh, another name I write horror under um, for a, a, a bigger publisher, it's not indie or small press, um, those books I, j I can just, you know, I don't have to focus as much on the language. I still try to make it, you know, good, but I don't have to focus as much on, on theme and language as I do, let's say, my more literary stuff. So, and of course I do have more fun with the horror stuff because I'm, I'm a born horror writer. Anyways, so it's, it's really fun getting back into the pantsing side of things, and as of today, um, I'm not sure what day it is actually, uh, it's August something, let me pull it up, it is August 27, 2018, um, as of today, all of my contractual obligations are finished, they're all done. So, um, in fact, Blue, my buddy Blue on Twitter said, uh, tweeted me and said something about, uh, the next, the next book or whatever it was. And I said, I don't have anything to sell. I mean, everything that is done is sold. Man, it is hot. And so it's, it's scary, uh, to be going into this, uh, I mean, this is going into my ninth year as an indie under the Edward Lauren name. No, eighth year, eighth year. Uh, 2019 will be the eighth year, because uh, 2011 is when I started under this name. Um, December of 2011 uh, was when Bay's End was published. But uh, it's it's weird not having anywhere to go. It's uh, where, where I'm, what I'm going to do next. And as of right now, one of the obligations were for three books, but the first one hasn't been, hasn't even been published yet. So I'm 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 worried about how well that's going to go because if those three books don't go well, then they're not going to ask for anything else. Um, so I'm hoping those go go well, of course. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else is going on in my writing life. The convention was a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, Anthony Vaca, if you're watching this, Vaca, I'm, I'm sorry, I said, you told me how to pronounce your name, and I've already I've already misplaced that in my head. Well, oh, that's a fancy word of saying I forgot. Sorry, um, but. The, the convention was great. Thank you so much for inviting me. That was a lot of fun. In fact, this is what, you know, I, I had made uh, there. I didn't actually have the bedding of boys available at the convention, which I hated, but it just wasn't ready yet, and I wasn't going to rush it. But uh, the bedding of boys is available now. The next book you can expect from me and from Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm will be publishing uh, Everything is Horrible Now sometime in the fall or the winter, and then uh, No Home for Boys sometime in the winter or the spring, something like that. Uh, but right now, uh, oh, and wide release of Everything is Horrible Now should be about... I would say this winter, um, I can't sell the book myself. I can't publish it indie independently until Thunderstorm sells out of theirs. But the first three books sold out before they were even publicly announced. So, yay. <laughs> Hopefully everything is horrible now does the same. Um, I also have Cruelty and Joy coming this November for the Patreon folks. Um, if you sign up before November... Um, when the episodes start, you will get a signed limited edition hardcover from me of Cruelty and Joy, which is three over 300,000 words, by the way. Um, you will get that for free if you sign up for the Patreon. All the links are down there in the doobly-doo. Um, but that starts in November. I think November 21st will be the first episode. Then every three weeks, roughly. I'm going to try and make it every two weeks. But right now, the editing schedule that I have locked in is every two weeks. So... That's everything right now. If you'd like to tell me where, you, where you're at with your writing, or if you need any advice or help with anything, let me know down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been From the Desk. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.